What up people, how's it going? This is Bharat here. Welcome back to yet another series. In this particular series of videos, which is actually eight videos in length, we're going to be learning the complete A to Z of uh, developing a Python application using the Kiwi library. So what exactly is the application going to do? So we're going to be using the GUI library called as Kiwi and learning to build an application from scratch. So the entire series of videos is structured in such a way that uh, you can be a Python beginner, no prerequisites required there. And if you are actually uh, into python for say for a period of six months to eight months you can just learn this uh, library in just matter of one hour yes that's true you can learn this entire library in the matter of just one hour it's a very simple gui library to use and you're going to be seeing about that for others who are actually very new into python i would highly recommend you guys to take a 30 minute or one hour crash course in just the basics of python alone before jumping into this series because starting from the first video we're going to be learning about how to install your python kiwi library in your environment of your choice we're going to be developing the entire application in my uh, mac os environment but it's the same for windows as well as ubuntu so do not worry about that Additionally, from the second video onwards, after we have the first Hello World program rendered in our application, we're going to be learning more about in-depth concepts into widgets and also about layouts, grid layouts, float layouts, and different callbacks with respect to buttons. Everything is going to be covered. Towards the end of this video series, you would have completely built an application from scratch. Uh, this application is going to be very good in looking. Uh, it's going to also have a little bit difference of, uh, in UI as well. So you're going to be learning about all of that in your uh, this um, entire application series. Additionally, you can actually deploy this application in all four environments, starting from your Windows. You could develop a Windows desktop application, your Mac OS desktop application, as well as an Android and iOS mobile applications as well. So we're going to be learning about all of that in this entire series. And towards the end of this series, I have one bonus clip on the most famous .kv notation or .kv format. So what exactly is the .kv format? How do you do that? And how do you deploy applications much faster using that format everything is going to be covered in this series so if you're ready i'm ex extremely excited to see you guys inside the series let's get this uh, uh, entire application series rolling